Oh, Peggy got inboxed and she now she doesn't like me. So she knows that I'm an evil person because Hannah probably inboxed her and said that I am abusing my son. Goodbye. I just want you guys to have a place where you're finally heard. Right off the bat, I'm not going to be answering your questions. I'm gonna turn off the comments. I'm gonna turn comments off. I'm gonna be turning off comments. I'm gonna turn off comments again. Okay, I'm gonna turn off comments again. We're going to disable comments on this channel for the time being. Nothing good or productive comes from the comments that I receive. Moving forward on this channel, comments will be not available for any comments and um, commenting. Comments will not be available for any comments or commenting. Why don't we come to an agreement where you have the space to voice your opinions to me? I'm turning off comments because again, I said I'm not asking, I'm not answering questions. And you have a right to say and feel how you feel. No, I will not talk about that because it's ridiculous and you know it's idiotic. So why are you asking that stupid question? I believe during this live, they were talking about Josh Duggar. Amanda says, it seems legit. I'm worried. Wath Mama. And a motion to dismiss a pic of his hands and feet. And one other file as well. The document was very thorough. I am freaking out with Amanda. Okay, Wath Mama and Amanda, you should go talk in a corner, I guess. In this live, Katie was talking about Mannheim, Russia. Kate says, I lived in Germany for four years. Mannheim is in Germany. Look, I'll show you, Kate. Are you here just to be difficult? This is actually in Russia. So what they did was they took the cities that were actually named Mannheim because there's a Mannheim Germany and they named a, col they named a colony in Russia Mannheim. And living in Germany today literally has zero to do with living there 200 years ago. It's not even equivalent. What's wrong with just saying, I know there's a Mannheim in Germany, but I'm talking about the one in Russia. Or saying, oh, I didn't know there was one also in Germany, but I'm talking about the one in Russia. You don't have to immediately go to bitch mode for everything. My community has always and will always continue to be open for everyone. I'm going to turn on members only because you guys are being horrific. I don't. Um... I'm just going to turn my members only. My members only on. I've asked you guys to be kind and I've asked for your prayers. Be respectful. We don't have to agree, but you have to be nice. No, Islam isn't worse. They're all bad. I mean, and Islam's not even bad. Oh, God, don't get your anti-Islamness out of here. And they say that, like, I don't like anyone that doesn't agree with me, but that's not true. I hate, I hate, I hate when people do this. If you have a problem with a faith, go on your platform and talk about it. I'm not going to be xenophobic. I don't care about other religions right now. This has nothing to do with other religions. All of you people that are trying to make this about other religions need to stop. I don't give a shit. What I do on this channel has to do with the IBLP. It has to do with fundamentalism. Me talking about this shit has nothing to do with you. If you're a Meth Methodist, if you're a Baptist, if you're a Catholic, it has nothing to do with you. Tristan, the IBLP is what your best friend Jed is all up in. Your best friend's in a cult. No, Charles Spurgeon is not IBLP and I never connected him to IBLP. People are like, you're connecting a dead man to this cult. No, I'm not. I literally said Bill Gothard is obsessed with him. Bill Gothard is also obsessed with Robert E. Lee. So is Robert E. Lee in the I IBLP? You guys, no, he was dead. I'm not going to dig into Charles Spurgeon. I don't care about Charles Spurgeon. This has nothing to do with Charles Spurgeon. My point was that Bill Gothard is obsessed with Charles Spurgeon. So she mentions Charles Spurgeon, then goes apeshit when people in the chat ask about him, and then tries to say that what she's talking about has nothing to do with Charles Spurgeon, even though she was the one who brought up Charles Spurgeon. Katie made multiple posts about how the Catholic Church is a cult and they abuse everybody. Somebody replied and said, Katie, not all of us were abused. Katie responded, the church abused you. You are indoctrinated into their system of oppression. I hope one day you break free. You can go into my comments and you know that I have subscribers that legitimately don't agree with my point of view and that will say, I don't know, I don't see it like that. Someone says, I've read your comments and it sounds like you have a good reason to despise the Catholic Church and all religions dominated by men. I'm not a churchgoer anymore, but I don't think all religious leaders are bad. Matter of fact, I admire Pope Francis. There are good people out there doing good and inspiring people to do good and help people. Unfortunately, many evangelical flocks no longer follow Jesus and preach prosperity gospel. That's when I left the church. Katie responds, so since you aren't Catholic, you really can't say how you feel because, I mean, you don't know. The popes are ridiculous men that hold unbridled power and lead cover-ups. Most Catholics do, so probably don't defend something you don't know. Where did this woman say anything that she was not Catholic?
On one of her Catholic abuse posts, someone asks, are you deleting comments that are not Catholic survivor ones? I mean, can we all share the for or against opinions? This person talked to Balls and said she deleted my initial comment. I don't delete comments. About not having any bad experiences with the church and others I had read that were similar. But my last comment is still there and I have not been blocked yet. She also said, yes, I haven't followed her long, maybe a few weeks and only after the sister wife show ended for the info she shared about them, but quickly realized something is wrong with her body biased opinions and won't be following her much longer. She seems very troubled and bitter and I am not at all into following anyone's cults or doing their handiwork. Let's just not focus on comments that are deleted. If you are upset about comments deleted, please don't like do it in the chat. You got a problem, take it offline, take a second, take a breather, don't get mad. No, I do like it when you form your own opinion. Ground rules for joining are we're not talking about my personal life. We're going to stick to the topic of what we're talking about tonight. If you join and you begin talking about those things or use this as a way to sort of come at me, I'll disconnect you. I'm also not commenting on anything that's going on with any um, people that are being weird online and trying to accuse me of saying things that I didn't say. So I'm not responding to any of that. So I want to keep the chat open, but unfortunately there's, um, I just want to be clear. We are not discussing anything period about what people are seeing or saying. It's not what we're here for. And if that's what you're here for, um, no answers, no questions, nothing will be addressed. Never going to be able to be successful if you're not nice to the people that are like watching and supporting you and giving you the platform that you have. Like you don't have a platform without the people that want to watch you. I don't know why you guys are talking about the plats when I'm not even talking about the plats. It's so rude. If you guys keep talking about the plats, I'm honestly going to turn off the comments. It's disgusting. It's just rude when I'm talking about something and all you're doing is talking about something that has nothing to do with the topic. Can we stop? Okay. I just saw something and I'm feeling a little bit triggered. I don't want to talk about Casey Anthony. She has nothing to do with this case. I'm an advocate for children. I, it's not comparable, completely different in every scope of the imagination. And the fact that this name keeps showing up in my comments, we don't need to talk about Casey Anthony. We're talking about Josh Duggar. Focus on this. What happened with Casey in Florida has nothing to do here. I'm just sharing that because I've seen so, so, so many questions about this and the name just keeps coming up and up and I'm like, Whew. There is nothing going on with Eugenia and we're not going to talk about that. Can you guys please, I can't, for some reason. She's probably trying to block that person just because she asked about Eugenia Cooney. I'm not answering questions about my makeup. Okay, if you keep talking about this stuff, you're getting removed. I'm trying to make sure that you guys stay on topic. We're not going to be talking about anything else. I'm not answering questions about if Josh was or wasn't doing this. Um, Let's talk, let's... You guys, we gotta stay focused. I'm gonna tell you a secret. We're gonna stay focused on the trial. I do not feel sorry for any of the people who support Katie after she talks to them like they are children or they are idiots. It is so condescending. And we're not gonna talk about what happened to Josh as a kid. We're not gonna see if he was or if he wasn't. We're gonna focus on the trial. Right now, we're focusing on the trial. I have never watched Bringing Up Bates and I will not ever watch that show. The Bates are like the stepsisters of the Duggars. Bringing up Bates has been canceled by Up TV. And I, oh, oh, just choking on something. I don't watch Bringing Up Bates. New episode of Bringing Up Bates. So if you know anything about Bringing Up Bates, it's on Up TV. I don't care to watch Bringing Up Bates. We, without a crystal ball, have been working tirelessly to advocate and educate about this cult, show the connection the, the Bates had to the IBLP. I'm not talking about the Bates. Why do you keep talking about the Bates? Like, read the room. Katie Bates recently got engaged. Whose engagement was it? Well, Nathan Bates, he got engaged. Whitney and Zach Bates have an update on their little boy. I'm not talking about the Bates, like, please. Hey, we're gonna talk about the Bates. Yep, we're integrating the Bates more into this channel because you have been asking for it. You're gonna get removed from this live if you ask questions about the Bates. I'm not talking about them. This has been a busy week for the Bates because they just added another grandchild. Well, guess who is pregnant? <gasps> Josie! Josie Bates is pregnant. Carlin Bates is pregnant, y'all, with baby number two. Woo -woo! Why would you walk into a live stream that has nothing to do with the Bates and start asking questions about the Bates? I noticed that Gil Bates wasn't at the sleep. I don't think that Bates were at the family conference and it must have, I bet it had to do with their weddings. If you keep talking about this stuff, you're getting removed. 
I'm gonna remove every single person that keeps talking about some bullshit about the bait. Why am I making a big deal about my sources? I, because I'm telling you about them? Joyful Jenny is very, I think she's a dugger hugger. I think Joyful Jenny needs to be put to the pasture. I don't understand why people have to be so ugly to one another. I don't either. The more you speak about it, the more you give it life. Please set yourself free. Is that me? someone telling me to stop talking about re Well, cow plant hoard, I'm going to block you. I will be kind to people even if I don't like them. On a post where Katie's talking about Jana Duggar still living at home, someone commented, as someone who did not leave home for very long until 27, sometimes it is just preferred if you are used to being around people. Not everyone wants to live alone. Obviously, it would be preferable if she got away from them, but for her, it might be the most comfortable option. Katie responds, you don't get it and ignore all the reporting, but that's fine. Ignore it and justify it. She doesn't have a choice. It would just be really amazing if people could not be so rude. A comment she received. So I live in the Sunland, California area and there is no Jimmy John's in the town and it's nowhere near Sakena. I can't pronounce that word. Uh, church, you might want to correct your post. Katie, I'm being sarcastic. Apparently that's lost on you along with a sense of humor. On an unrelated post, somebody replied to Katie and said, you are really snarky. I think they meant to your followers. I will be unfollowing because of the way you interact with us. You are rude. I would love you guys to just not be so nasty. Someone commented, LOL must be the Canadian in me, but I'm not really sure why that's an issue. Katie, there is none. Y'all getting so damn testy. I'm just dealing with people being so mean and I don't know why. Like it takes two seconds to not be a jerk. Can't you just be nice in the chat? Like would it kill you to just be nice? No matter how many times you want to say to my comments that it's true, it's not true. Goodbye, hello thrifty. I don't want you here. I'm like emotionally very like level. I'm very like even. It takes a lot for me to be irritated. I don't want to talk about Jeremy. Why do you guys keep bringing up Jeremy? Like who f***ing cares about Jeremy? Ugh. I'm not talking about Jeremy. Okay, if you're gonna start answering, I'm removing people that ask questions that have nothing to do with this. Nobody wants to talk tonight, it's wild. Normally I can get people to live stream with me. No, these are not fake subscribers. I just have a lot of subscribers that don't really, aren't tuning in right now and that's okay. Does anyone else want to share their best of the year? The chat's so quiet. I feel like nobody's responding. Probably because they don't want to get their asses handed to them for asking a question. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. It would feel really good if I saw some positive comments. Right now, nobody's commenting. And I think they're just afraid of being harassed. Sad watching my Twitter just shrivel up. Like no one even engages with me on Twitter anymore. They just think I'm this joke. It's not a joke. I'm not a joke. I've built quite an audience for the story here on Facebook, but there's not as many people that show up on my YouTube channel. I don't know why. Are my tweets even being seen? I find it hard to believe that I have 10,000 followers here and no one likes, comments, or interacts. I don't get it. Someone responded, I can see your tweets, but even when you allow responses to be posted, I am afraid to. Another person responded, your posts don't show up on my feed. I have to search for you. And when I do, this is what I get. Katie Joy is a liar. Katie Joy Paulson is a liar. Deep platform Katie Joy Paulson. Seems like she's heavily monitoring the comments. So it seems like... She's filtering out comments. I am not deleting comments. Because I was deleting comments, my follower number wasn't going down. I can delete as many posts as I want and for whatever reason I want to. It doesn't mean I'm lying or being shady. Maybe I just feel like deleting it, want to clean up my page, or want it up long enough for my fan club to screenshot and bitch about it. Like if you're not trying to hide anything, why are you deleting everything? I admitted I shared it on Twitter and I deleted it because it was inappropriate. So stop making drama, Winter. She can't even let her husband talk. Here's the thing. We try. Okay. This is not like to be disrespectful at all, but I'm just like, I'm just. I think the biggest thing. All kids are bad that listen to rock music. Well, rock music is steeped in the blues. 
No, I know, Todd. I mean, you don't need to get mad about this. We I'm know not, how I'm you... Not, who's getting mad? I'm mixed. <laughs> Whatever. Good night. During this live, Todd walks by and says something about how it's going to be a battle to get their son to go to bed. Katie completely ignores him and just focuses on the chat. I have a feeling it's going to be a battle trying to get this. They have exhibits, but... <clears throat> Please delete that, Todd. Don't... Okay. I have to go. Fuck off, Lizzie. I hope you, like, fuck off, Lizzie.